Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lowdown. Slato down here at the Lookout Tavern. Don't forget, you need a ride down here at the Lookout. You call 422 lwok We'll send a guy down here to pick you up, and he'll bring you back safely, soundly, and without a hassle. He's working for tips, though. Take care of him. Well, I've caught up with the three lovely ladies. Probably the prettiest girls from Boston I've ever met in my life. I have Janet, I have Carrie, and I have Katie sitting down here. They just enjoyed a little... Um, what, what did you have here? I know what this is. It's on the menu. The quesadilla. Quesadilla. All right. And you left one for me. I th that's, appreciate that, Janet. <laughs> You're welcome. And we are here because we're going to play a little trivia. That's right. It's trivia time. We got a, a bag load of free gifts, and we want to give them out to these lovely ladies. So we're going to make it, as I was saying to all of you, we do like a success here on the show. So we're going to make it a multiple choice team effort thing so you can win some great prizes. Are you ready to play? We're ready. Yeah, it's ready. <laughs> Carrie, you ready? Ready. Katie, you ready? I'm ready. Aren't they cute? Boy, this is going to be fun. All right, here we go. Question number one. So we're going to ask you three questions. Multiple choice. Make it easy. If you think about the question, you will undoubtedly come up with the answer. OK? Ready? All right. Here we go. Question number one. The state of Wyoming has the smallest population of any state. That's a fact. Which state has the second smallest population? Now, go ahead, Janet. But multiple choice. Oh yeah. <laughs> da darn it! It is multiple choice. All right, now I gotta. Now I gotta come up with some. It's not on my sheet. Look at it. Oh, all right. You have to come up with the options. Okay. I'm come up with some options for you. All right. Uh, choice A, New York. Choice B, California. Choice C, Florida. Or choice D, Vermont. What's it, what do you think has the second smallest population? California, New York, Florida, Vermont. Janet, what's your guess? Vermont. Did you want to discuss amongst yourselves? <laughs> Katie, concur? I, I think she's got it. Carrie, do you agree? It's Vermont? Yes. It is Vermont. These girls are winners. Wow. You are not only team leader, I appoint you, I ordain you as team leader, but you also are happen to be holding the bag because my sleepy intern had to go take a nap. So let's let's look in here together. These, yeah, these are the prizes. It's the prize bag. Why am I the team mascot? You're not the team mascot. You're the team trainer. <laughs> Carrie's the team mascot. That looks good on her, doesn't it? It does. It looks great on her. It looks great. I love trivia. She should win that prize. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Nice and warm. Tomorrow. I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear this out tonight, all night. Don't worry, Carrie. We got some in here for you. I can't wait. All right. Question number two. You ready? Here we go. Multiple choice. Yeah. Hey, Vermont is the largest producer of blank in the USA. Now I'm gonna give you the. Uh, I'll give you the options here, okay? Um, largest producer of blank, what in the USA? A, is it blueberries? Blueberries. Uh, B, maple syrup. C, milk. Or D, toothpicks. Does somebody else want to answer? Or do you want me to go with it? Now, like I said, I feel like Janet knows this. Like I said, if you really think about the questions. You want me to answer? Is it maple syrup? Team leader says maple syrup. Mascot? Agree. Agree. Trainer, what do you think? 100%. Maple syrup. These girls are tough. It is maple syrup. You got it right, ladies. Maple syrup. Yes. The largest producer of maple syrup in, I have no idea. Carrie's going to get a nice pair of ski socks, but Janet, we don't want you to be left out. We're going to give you a nice pair of... Uh... <laughs> what are those? Oh, they're, they're socks. They're toe socks. That is so cute. Perfect. I, I... Everybody put their presents on. <laughs> you got... You can model it later for me. I thought it was like, I really, I thought they were mittens for somebody who worked like at uh, 
woodworking shop or something like my shop teacher and I. Cut off all their fingers already. It's a cute little toe sock. That's kind of neat. Are you ready? What river separates Vermont and New Hampshire? Janet says okay. She hasn't even heard the multiple choice answers yet. The uh, your your choices are a the White River, b the Otter Creek, c the Connecticut or Connecticut River, or d the Winooski River. The White Otter Creek, Connecticut, or Winooski, ladies. Carrie, you look. What's, what are the two states? <laughs> the two states are Vermont and New Hampshire. And they are north of. Well, they're north of Massachusetts and Connecticut. Yes, good, good point. Yes. Katie is, not only is she team trainer, she's team uh, historian and valedictorian. Yeah, she is. Janet, you, you thought you knew the answer, I think, because you had a twinkle in your eye. Carrie, what you The White River. The, oh, I didn't say no, I, I said now. Now, as in now think about it, and... There is a White River, but it's... There are other rivers. Uh, and what were they again? Connecticut, the White, the Otter Creek, or the Winooski River, which is way up I think north. Team Captain would agree that it's Connecticut. Team Captain Janet? I think so. Kinker, team trainer? I guess. Yeah, she's not sure, but... It's two to one here. I'm going to go with them. She's on the team. She's the trainer. Ladies, you are right. It is the Connecticut River that separates Vermont from New Hampshire and flows to Connecticut. We knew it. Man, they are smart. Ladies, we have a nice gift certificate for all of you right here from Liquid Art, which is a really cool, funky little uh, spot down the road. They have breakfast there. They have... You can get lunch, you can get some really stuff, nice cocktails down there. Liquid Art, it's the newest place in town. We got a little $10 gift certificate for you. You can go down there and get a martini and get three straws for it. How's that sound? So we'll let you all split that. Sound good? Yep. So that's for you. Hey, we got some real winners down here at the lookout. This is Katie and Carrie and Janet. Ladies, thank you so much for playing. You've been awesome. Get on down here to the lookout, man. It's nothing but fun, all right? I'm Slato, we'll be right back after this.